The trick shot. This tech may actually be useful for boss fights and speedruns, so how do you do it? Because it's not as simple as it looks. This is the cannonball. You may be familiar with the fact that you can parry, shoot, ricochet, and most importantly, grapple it. You may also know that firing it into an enemy once knocks it up before breaking when shot into someone again. Without getting into coins, because that fucks everything up, the most damaging combo you can do is to shoot it full speed into an enemy and then rail it. Do not use the malicious rail because although it functions exactly like a core eject, there's one difference in which it doesn't do a red explosion. So you're actually getting more damage from the blue rail. Anyways, you can do this. You've taken everything from me. Oh. I'm gonna call this dribbling from now on. Essentially, you grapple the cannonball, and if you hold down the grapple button, it'll send it away. But if you let go, it'll bring it back. So as it's coming back, if you press the grapple button again, it'll re-grab and send it away. So you can do this to essentially just dribble it back and forth. You may already know this, but do you know you can stack them? Yeah, so you can do this with five balls at once. And if you grapple into the serb, it one-shots. Wow, so much damage. No, it's shit. In a real game, this takes a lot of time to set up, when you could just do this. Plus, all the balls will disappear, mincing your chances of bouncing off the backboard and railing them. But then when messing around, I discovered this. The trick shot. If you grapple, and then punch to immediately let go, you'll send the cannonball flying at maximum velocity as if it was in the first stage where you can bounce it off people. Now combine that with the stacking and we get massive damage. Okay, but why is it useful? Well, there's two major things that I can see it being used for. A, more damage in the boss rooms because you can still grapple coins while juggling. So I think this will make it pretty good to get some extra damage in P1 and P2 setups. However, it is really hard, and I mean really hard to do. So it could be more potential damage at the start of a fight, but it's so difficult to set up if you're also doing sword blade stuff, so I don't know yet. And B, little known fact that cannonballs persist through checkpoints. So you can do stuff like this, making the setup time a non-issue basically. So if stuff gets nerfed like I think it will, this may actually become viable for any percent runs. Anyways, what do you think? Cool? Useful? Neither? <laughs> uh, check it out, yeah. Good luck.